Hey everybody, it's Jennifer Ward from Down Dog Knox. How's your work week going? You've been spending some good quality time with your desk? Has everything this week been going according to plan? <laughs> well, if you're like me and you're a little bit type A, you might like to plan out some things. I like to plan out some things. But you know what? Sometimes we just have to wing it. So this flex and flow is dedicated to winging it. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to wing it and you're going to get to see what that looks like. All right. So my thought is we'll flex and flow for about five minutes. So I'm taking a look at my clock that's up there behind me and I'm just going to check in and kind of decide where I want to start to move. So I'm a little bit tight in my upper back today, right? So here's how this process works. I just kind of think, where am I stiff? Where do I want to move? All right, so we're going to come to a seated cat and cow. If you're at work and you're in your chair, find yourself a nice, steady, even position. We're going to let the hands come to rest on the thigh, and we're going to exhale like that cute little Halloween cat, and we're going to round through the spine. And then we're going to inhale, bringing the chest forward, the gaze up, collarbones open, and exhale round, right? So cat, inhale, cow, or as I heard it a few years ago, rainbow, unicorn. <laughs> so pick where you wanna be. You can cat, cow, or you can rainbow and unicorn. It feels like just some movements in the arms would feel good, right? So I'm close to my desk, so let me shimmy over a little bit. Shimmy is Sanskrit for scooch. And we'll release the hands. That's okay. And bend the elbow. <laughs> and coming up. Right now, if you get a little bit pinchy in your shoulders, feel free to bring the arms up in front. You can make those variations. Sometimes we call them modifications, but think of it as an adaptation adapting to your own personal body. From here, I feel like a twist would be a good way to go. So I'm gonna take a twist here to the right. And breathe, bringing the gaze over the right shoulder, checking out my chair. And then we're inhale up and change sides. We're back looking at my chair from the other side, noticing I have a little bit more freedom when I turn to the right than I, when I turn to the left. So yoga is symmetrical, bodies are not. I'm gonna release my hands and we'll come on up to standing. From here, I'm gonna make use of the chair. I'm just gonna place my hand on it and take a side stretch. And release. Side stretch. Now, if you're at work, you might have on shoes. More of us are working from home, so you might not have on shoes. I've worked from home for eight years, so it's pretty rare that I actually have shoes on. And we're gonna take that stretch to the other side. So we're just gonna swing the chair around. I don't know if you can hear me or the chair rolling. <laughs> and take a little stretch. Keep breathing, right? Even if I don't say keep breathing, go ahead, keep breathing. Do it anyway. It always cracks me up when yoga teachers will say, and last breath. What? No, I'm not, I'm not ready for that yet. All right, from here, let's go ahead and build a little bit of strength. So we're gonna sink down into our fierce pose. I'll turn to the side so you can take a look at that. Oftentimes people call this chair pose. That's because Iyengar said, scoot your rear back like you're sitting in a chair. So you can be in a lounge chair, a ladder back chair, and then release. And I think a twist would be really nice. So I'm turning back to the front. We're gonna bring prayer hands to heart center and hook that left elbow over the right knee. Notice if your left knee ran forward, and slide it back. Pressing palms together creating a lift. 
let's release if you've been in your chair all day sorry you're gonna look at the back of my head let's come on down to a forward bend taking a generous bend of the knees rooting through the soles of the feet pressing the feet away from each other creating traction in the low back we're going to come on back up to our chair pose release if you want a little rest in the thighs bringing the feet back together your feet can be apart or together but make sure your knees match right so we're going to bring knees together and we're going to take that twist to the opposite side once again checking in it's not uncommon for the right knee to run forward we'll take a little twist and then from here once again we'll go ahead and release to that forward bend and if you don't want to come all the way to the floor maybe you don't know when the last time your floor was clean <laughs> you can choose to come forward maybe placing the elbows in the chair And then we'll release big bend of the knees and we'll come on back up to standing I think we've done about five minutes but let's go ahead and do one more minute let's come to our eagle arms so we're gonna give ourselves a big hug right so one elbow on top of the other you might choose to stay here draw the elbows away from the chest right when we sit in our chair we're slumped but we're being very active in the muscles this time. Navel draws to spine. Or you might choose to cross the arms. Your arms might choose for you. Either one is okay. It's all good. And then from here, we'll change sides. Which one was up? <laughs> Do you remember? Right? Work in your brain. And then we'll re I feel like it was the other way. <laughs> so we'll bring left arm under. Here we go. And it's okay, it's important that you laugh, right? Because we talked about, is everything going according to plan? Just for good measure, I'm changing sides, right? Totally okay. All right, there we go. I'm gonna shake, I'm gonna shake and shimmy. <laughs> Do a little bit of release. See if you can jiggle some flesh. And there you go, there's you, a five minute flex and flow on winging it. Thank you for having the courage to just dive in with me and try something a little bit random. Namaste.